Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva, and today we're going to see how to create your own Buy Me a Coffee application using Hard Hat, Solidity, and Next.js. So, what is Buy Me a Coffee? So, it's just a fun name for a donation application. So, if somebody wants to support your work and donate you some test tokens like Matic, we are going to use Polygon Mumbai in this tutorial. So, they can donate it if you want to, and only the owner of the smart contract can withdraw the funds. So, we are going to create a smart contract using Solidity. And we are going to use that smart contract in Next.js, and we are also going to be using Hard Hat. So it's pretty good to follow this tutorial along if you want to learn Hard Hat as well. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into the Hard Hat part first. So first of all, we need to create our project directory. So let's do mkdir, and we will name it BMC YouTube, and then I will cd into BMC BMC YouTube. And here we need two folders: one for the Next.js application and one for Hard Hat. So first, let's work on Hard Hat itself. So we will do mkdir Hard Hat, and then we will go into cd Hard Hat. And here we are going to create our, our Hard Hat project. So to do that, we are going to say npx Hard Hat. Press enter and it will open up a wizard to create your Hard Hat application. So out of all of these options, we just need the create a basic sample project. We'll just click enter on that. Then hard hat project root. Just click on tab so that it fills out the entire thing and just press enter. Do you want to add a git ignore? Yeah, there's no problem. You can just add it if you want to. Do you want to install the sample project dependencies? Yeah, you should install the dependencies because you would need to do it manually anyways. So this might take some time depending on your system. Uh, I will just pause the video and I'll be back when this is over. Perfect. Now it's done. Now let's do code dot to open it in Visual Studio Code. Perfect. This is here. I will get it to full screen, and yeah, now we need to write the contract. So, in here, let's run through all of these directories first. In the contracts, of course, we have our smart contracts. In the scripts folder, we will be also using the scripts folder for creating or deploy a script. So, we will be doing that instead of sample script, and we won't be doing tests in this tutorial. But if you are doing some testing, you should probably be doing that in this folder. And the hard hat dot config dot js is basically all the configuration. We will also be touching this file because we need to actually deploy it to Polygon Mumbai. So yeah, we need to touch this file. So first of all, let's open a terminal here and let's install a package we need. So we need npm install. Add that it opens Zeppelin slash contracts. We are installing this because we need that ownable contract so that we don't need to spend a lot of time deciding who is the owner of the contract. Open Zeppelin has a good contract to do that. So let's delete greeter.sol. We don't need that. And here we are just going to create our new file. We are just going to call it coffee.solidity. Uh, I mean coffee.sol. One and the same thing. And now in coffee.sol, we are going to start coding. First of all, we need to provide the license. So we will say spdx license identifier. For now, we are just going to say unlicense. And then we are going to specify the version. So depending on what extension you are using for Solidity, it might show you an error or not show you an error. For me, my extension is bugged out and it always shows me error. But don't worry that uh, the compiler we are using is hard hat. So it won't make a lot of difference. So yeah, let's do this. So pragma Solidity. And we need to provide a version. So I'll use 0.8.4. This is the version we are using in this tutorial. Hopefully I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah, it is correct. And now we need to import the ownable, uh, what is called ownable contract. Yeah. So on import and here we will import open Zeppelin slash contracts slash access slash ownable dot SOL. And now we can just create our contract. So we'll say contract coffee is ownable. And then we are going to have everything in this. And for some good reason, this thing isn't bugging out for me anymore. So it is not showing error. But if you see any errors in VS code, you might want to try to deploy it manually before trying to see that error because sometimes it just bugs out in VS code for some reason. So yeah, first of all, let's make this very simple. We need a, we need two functions, one to deposit, 
all of the donations so buy coffee and then we need to we need a function for withdrawing all the funds stored in the smart contract and thus that withdraw function should only be approachable by the owner of the contract so first let's proceed with the simple thing which is doing the um, buy coffee thing so yeah let's do that we're going to say function buy coffee and this has no parameters public payable because we are going to pay and this returns something st a string memory message we won't really be using that string but yeah you can just pass in a string if you want to it it's not a problem so return we are just going to return uh, why aren't we doing anything here that's because uh, once this is payable and you send some amount to this function it already stores that amount in your smart contract so you don't need to worry about it in return we will say thanks for buying me a coffee yeah th this function is pretty simple now wo let's work on withdraw function it's it's also pretty simple it's also just one line function but yeah it's something you need to look at so function withdraw and this is a public function i mean this will be shown to everyone but can be only accessed by the owner so we'll say only owner which is coming from the ownable contract so you don't need to worry about anything else and open zeppelin will take care of all of that and then we'll say that this function is payable this is payable because we are sending the money from contract to back to the user so we are going to say payable we are we are defining a payable address which is message dot sender and why are we using message dot sender because at this point we know that this is the owner so we don't need to worry about further checks and now we are going to say dot transfer and we are going to say address this so the smart contract address dot balance so it will send all the balance back to the owner of the smart contract and that's all for this contract and now we just need to go ahead and create a new script here we'll say deploy dot js and here we will create our new our own script to deploy so the most easy way is like going here the sample script just copy everything just paste it here let's just delete all the comments because it's all green green and uh, it's very confusing so let's just delete and once you delete everything it, things will start getting clearer to you okay so now it's like uh, await greeters get contract factory greeter and then greeter and hello hard at and yeah it's basically deploying the contract the greeter contract which we just deleted now we just need to replace all of this with coffee so coffee get contract factory coffee and then we need to check, check this coffee and this should be coffee and yeah we are just basically refla replacing everything with coffee let's let's do this coffee perfect hello hard hat perfect and for now we are deploying this to hard hat network so it's a local blockchain it makes while running this script so yeah and we will be also working on deploying this on polygon mumbai after we have tested that everything works so first of all we don't need anything in the parameters because we don't have a constructor right there right now we just need to have we need to check yeah it's already done so await coffee dot deployed it will wait till the contract is deployed and then it's console logging which is still already there which is a good sign and then we are going to buy a coffee so we are going to test buying a coffee so let's do that const buy so that we know everything is happening in the console and we know that if anything is wrong we, we will just know then and there so we'll just say await coffee dot functions dot buy coffee now this function relates to the function used in your solidity file so you have a buy coffee function here so you can just use that here and you don't have any parameters but you are sending some matic right matic or ethereum whatever whatever chain you're using so um, we are going to say ethers dot yeah it's imported properly it has dot utils dot pass ether and we are going to send in one here 1.0 for example perfect and now then we are going to say console log by 
and then we are going to say await by dot wait so that it waits for the transaction to complete and then it proceeds to the next line so we can just say console dot log and we're going to say await coffee dot provider dot get balance and we are going to get the coffee balance coffee coffee dot address so what we are doing here is first of all we are executing the buy function buy coffee function and we are sending in one ether and after that we are just consoling out the output uh, and the transaction then we are waiting for the transaction to get completed and then we are console logging out the balance of the contract now so now let's testing test out withdraw so we'll say const withdraw is equal to await coffee dot functions dot withdraw and then we are going to do the same thing console dot log withdraw and then we are going to say await withdraw wait withdraw dot wait and then we are going to just print in the balance again so i'll just copy this thing and i'll paste it here that's all for the script now how to run the script so in the terminal i hope we can see the terminals yes you can we are going to say npx hard hat run scripts slash deploy dot js and if we do this hopefully this should run so let's get our terminal bigger so that we can see what's happening here three solidity files compiled successfully now let's notice this thing first of all the contract is deployed then we run the buy coffee function and we are sending in one ether so this is the lowest denomination value don't worry about it and then we check the balance and the balance is reflected and then we withdraw the bal withdraw you call the withdraw function and the balance is zero af after the withdraw is succeeded so yeah this is working as expected now we need to deploy this on polygon mumbai so you will need an rpc provider in this video we are going to use alchemy because alchemy provides you with unique rpc uh, for any chain you want and that will help you get your transactions done fairly quickly and you won't have to worry about rate limits so yeah let's go and create our own alchemy account and get our rpc url okay so we are at alchemy.com link is in the description if you want to see and you can just click on login and it should take you to the login page now you can sign in with google or email or password whatever you want to do and i will sign in with google and i'll be back pretty soon now that we are on our alchemy dashboard now we are going to create an app by clicking on the create app button on the top and now we are just going to provide a name i'll say bmc and description will be a buy me a coffee and the chain should be polygon and not polygon mainnet but polygon mumbai and now i'll create the app perfect now we have the bmc we can view details and we have the keys here so api keys so we are going to use the https one so we will copy oh hold on um yeah so we are going to copy this https and one more good thing about alchemy is that they provide their own faucets so in this tutorial you will need some matic to pay gas fees and to test things right so you will need some faucet so you can just click on click here get test matic and you will be redirected to the polygon mumbai faucet by alchemy and you can just use this quickly to get some quick test matic to test your next application so yeah link is in the description if you want the funds for me i have some development funds already so i won't be using that faucet again you should only use the faucet when you don't have enough funds so yeah perfect now uh yeah now we are done with the alchemy dashboard now let's go back to our code and go to hardhat.config.js now here we need to define a network so we tested deploying this on the hardhat network on our own machine and it works so now we can just deploy it on other network so we are going to define networks here and the f the only network we need here is mumbai so we are going to name it mumbai and the first thing we need here is url and we are going to paste in the url you can use environment variables if you want to but just to keep this tutorial short i am not going to use environment variables but to assure that is a possibility if you want to do so and you and the second thing we need here is accounts and this is an array of private keys so you can just paste in your private keys here 
and uh, yeah and i won't be pasting it on screen i will be pasting it off screen and then i'll be back in the deploy.js file and we will deploy this contract once more so yeah i will do that and i'll be back okay so i have pasted my private key and i have closed the file now what you need to do is go back to a terminal let's clear the terminal so that things are clear because we will need the contract address after it's deployed now we are going to say npx hard hat run scripts slash deployed or js and we are going to pass in a parameter called network and we are going to pass in mumbai now this will take some time because it's an actual network and not just a dummy network on our own pc so this will take some time and let's follow through the code as its console logs everything so first of all it should get deployed so let's wait for the thing to get deployed we have passed in alchemy rpc so it should not be problem so yeah this is the contract address we will need it so yeah first of all we passed in one matic one test matic and the balance of the contract is now one matic and then we use the withdraw function and now the balance should be zero so yeah let's see if that happens let's wait for yeah the balance is zero perfect but all of these things we only need this thing so yeah we, this is the contract address we need and we will need it in the next year's application so yeah let's go ahead and create our next year's application now so i'll go to our terminal and i'll do cd double dot and i'll go to npx create next step and i'll call this front end now this should not take a lot of time so we can just wait here for this to get completed perfect it's done now we can just go to cd front end and the first thing we need is yarn add ethers we need this package this is the only package we need here perfect now we are going to open visual studio code here so let's wait for this okay perfect we're going to get this to full screen and i'm going to add a new desktop here uh, i'm going to get this here and yeah i guess this sh should be good okay now we need to go to our uh, root folder here and create a new file called contracts contract.js and in contract.js we need to do export const contract and here we need to paste in some details so first of all the address of the contract so we'll just copy that contract address again you can use the dot env file if you want to but let's just keep this simple so yeah um, i'll just paste in the address and then you need an abi so how uh, so how do you get the abi here go back to your like hard hat project into artifacts into contracts and into coffee.json and now here you can get your your abi so just copy this till the end of the array and go back to your next.js file and just paste this and don't worry if you have prettier it will auto format this thing and it will be all perfect yeah and now we can just go to our pages and index.js first of all let me make sure the server is started so i'll say yarn dev perfect the server is started and now we need to remove some things from main till footer we don't need anything here so let's remove this and uh, let me just open a browser here we have a browser let's reload this thing perfect so we have the oh wait it's not supposed to happen oh yeah we didn't save so file yeah now it's okay it's showing a blank page perfect uh, let me just bring the browser here in the between and now let's go now let's start doing some minimal styling first of all we need state for the amount so let's do that we need two states actually one state to store the signer so we, uh, we will show you how i will show you why do we need that so let's just make a state so signer set signer is equal to use state and the initial value should be nothing so we'll just leave this and the second state is a map for our input box so let's do that so const amount set amount and this should be a string actually so use state and yeah by default it's nothing perfect and now we need to create a new function to connect to metamask so cons 
connect to metamask and here this is an asynchronous function and i will just paste the code here so that we don't waste a lot of time in disconnecting to metamask so yeah this is the code you can just pause in the video i will explain how this is work first of all it's getting the provider ethereum provider from our browser and then it's requesting all the accounts that means it's trying to connect to the website and then it's getting the signer and then we are just setting the signer in our state so that we can use that in other functions and yeah then this is basically console log and if anything goes wrong we just show a console dot error you can just pause the video right here if you want and you can just copy the code and now we are going to do an and use effect so that connecting to metamask occurs whenever someone visits the site so let's do that um but this is not a good pra practice to do like you should always tell your users that you are connecting the wallet but let's just forget creating a button it's a long task so we just do it like this so yeah and now we are going to say connect to metamask and this should run only once once the page is mounted perfect now we are going to have some jsx here so if we go back to our this page and if we try to reload it's not connecting for some reason there's something wrong here let's save this again is any account already connected here no it's not if we reload if i open the console here is something very wrong ethos is not defined yeah because i copy the code i'll just use intellis uh, i'll just use intellisense to import it yeah perfect and remember that ethos should be imported like this yeah it is not defined if i just refresh this page yeah now the metamask has popped up and uh, we will be using account 2 for now you know what hold on we will just connect with account 1 so yeah because account 1 is the address i have provided to deploy the contract so we will be testing both of the accounts don't worry about that so yeah i have connected the wallet and now we need to do some jsx work here so first of all let's just in the title the thing we see first here so we'll just say buy me a coffee and then we are going to create a div with some styling i'll just go into copy the style because it's going to take a lot of time if i explain you styling and now in this div you can just pause the video and copy the styles if you want to or i will have the github repository in the description you can just use that if you want to and now we are going to have an input field so input type text and the value should be amount which is the state and on change the amount should change with this text box so e set amount e dot target dot value perfect and here we need a placeholder amount so yeah that's done with the input box now let's work on the two buttons we need so button on click buy coffee so we haven't made these functions yet we are going to do that right now so we're going to say buy coffee and another button which will withdraw so practically we'll have these two functions at different pages but uh, the withdraw function won't work anyways if the user yeah i mean the wallet signed in is not the owner of the contract so it's completely safe to keep it here but if you want you can just put it to another page now let's create both of the functions we are going to say const um, buy coffee is equal to asynchronous function which does try catch error console dot error error and it says alert error buying coffee and we are just going to copy this function and duplicate it for withdraw so let's do that withdraw and error withdrawing coffee perfect and now in the buy coffee section we need to start the actual logic so let's do that 
first of all let's check the ui here quickly so yeah it's pretty bad i know we haven't focused on styling even a bit here but you can do styling if you want to so yeah we are going to say const smart contract is equal to new ethers dot contract and now we are going to get the details which we have saved in saved in the contract dot js file now the first field is the address so we are going to say contract we are going to auto import dot address and then we need the abi so contract dot abi then we need the signer which we have saved in the state so we are going to say signer because that's the state and now we are going to execute this function so we are going to say await smart contract dot functions dot buy coffee and we are going to send the value here the amount of ether we are sending ether automatic so ethers dot utils dot parse ether and we are going to pass in the amount so it will pass everything it you need and it will do the thing and for withdrawing we need the same thing absolutely same thing we just need to change the function name and we don't need the value so let's do that i will paste this here we don't need we need the withdraw function instead and we don't need to send in a value because it's completely free perfect now let's go back to our localhost 3000 let's refresh this page remember that we are connected with our account one which is the same we used to host the contract we will be using both use cases so don't worry about that now first of all we are going to check the initial balance we have like 40 matic right so let's give away five matic to the contract and we are going to say buy coffee unless something goes wrong we see the yeah now it's working uh, it says five matic contract interaction buy coffee which is correct and now we are going to say confirm and this should the amount should be reduced and you can even have like alerts from have some fancy alerts if you want to but this is the most basic thing you ever want to see so yeah now you have 35 matic now oh yeah i need to change the button name so the withdraw button should be called as withdraw right perfect and now if i click on withdraw I should only be charged with gas fee not with extra matic and if i click on confirm and after this transaction is completed i must have my 40 matic back and of course you won't get all your matic because gas fees exists and it it has uh, i mean those those fees are decent you uh, sometimes they are low sometimes they are high so anyways on test network it doesn't what matter better but if you are using some main network make sure you have even enough to pay the gas fees so yeah now we have 40 matic back now let's change the mechanism now let's go back here and disconnect this account and we are going to reload this uh, reload this page and we are going to use the second account instead connect perfect now we are going to send five matic again so let's see we have oh yeah we need to switch to account too we have 59 matic so let's send five matic let's wait for this let's confirm let's open up metamask now this is pending with phimatic and this should be done in just some time let's wait for this to complete and we should see five less matics here like 54 yeah we have 54 matic and here's the catch if you try to withdraw this thing it won't work error withdrawing coffee and now let's see what's the error it says that error estimating gas so it knows that this wallet is not actually the owner so it it can't withdraw but now if we go back uh, remember the contract still has the five matting and if we go back and connect our account to one it should be able to withdraw so let's deselect account two and select account one let's go to metamask and switch to account one perfect and if we withdraw here this should open up metamask this should con and then we can confirm it with some gas fees and when we open up metamask this should be completed in some time it's pending we should have like 45 matic so let's wait for this yeah perfect we have 45 matic 
so yeah this is how the buy me a coffee works if you want to use this in production you might need to use some good better styling and you need to have the withdraw button on some other page so that it's not a bad user experience and yeah that is it for this video we are really close to a thousand subscribers and i would really appreciate that you subscribe to this channel in order to show support if you think that this channel has provided some value to you so yeah uh, check out alchemy the link is in the description and if you want some test funds you can use their faucets so yeah that is it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye